Hey y'all, it's Chance Wise coming to you from the Drag Lab. Um, gonna give you some some very basic tips on using makeup to finish out your illusion. Uh, most drag kings nowadays use makeup. Um, it's kind of a good idea, especially if you have very fair skin like I do. If you look at drag pictures of me from before I started using makeup, you basically just see hairline and my eyes because spotlight will just drain out all of your skin when you have very fair skin like I do so I'm gonna get right to it um, drag queens will emphasize their cheekbones and they try to bring them out now what drag kings do is the exact opposite is you're trying to man contour. Let's just put it that way. So, what I do is I just take a little bit of dark makeup and I do a straight line going down. It doesn't have to be totally perfect because we're going to blend this all in. And I do a little bit up here because if you look at men's faces they're very they have cuts all along their faces not like like cuts but um, I shaved this in it's basically if you have like an artistic eye and you look at the shape of a man's face and you can see that they have like pits and then they have you just have to look at men's faces to see what I'm talking about because it's kind of hard to explain. So I get an idea of a man face and then I kind of just draw it out on my face. So we're going to do that on both sides. Straight line coming down. And it doesn't have to be perfect because this is not all we're putting on just yet. Now, yeah. try to round it a little bit, uh, just so it has more of a realistic look. And then I shade it out. Now, I take a little. I take something a little less dark and then I just shade it Like so. Now this is where it gets a little bit fun. Now I take a very light makeup. Get it ready. And then I just do outside to bring out kind of like all right here's the high point and then it dips down. That's what I'm doing. Is I'm emphasizing the high point and then I'm shading down as you can see <clears throat> I do that above this line and then I do it around my jawbone and I'm going to do that on the other side I'm not very even. Oh, it's fixable. Fixable. And I said anything that has to do with art, you know, don't don't stress out how things are going on. Because with art, 
any kind of art. Everything is very fixable very quick. Now, now once you get that done, what you're going to do is take a big brush and go from the top down and just blend it in. That way it looks more like natural shading and not something you just drew on. See the difference? That's blended. That is not. So. So it looks more like shading and not so much. So. When I do go on stage looking like this, the spotlight will shine. Um, some of my facial features will blend out a little bit, but then you'll see the shading. The well, you're supposed to anyway. <clears throat> now, another thing you could do is men have very stone cut jaws. Mine is very short and kind of stubby and rounded. So I just take a little bit of the dark makeup. Kind of do a cut. So it looks like my jaw is more square and not so round. At least that's the idea. So that's a very quick, very quick makeup tip to do drag. Um, there's other things you can do makeup wise. I mean, like, have fun with it, play around, and yeah, it's not the best I've done, but. I'm not going on stage in five minutes, so. <laughs> but you get the idea. It's basically your just man contouring, just to complete a little, complete the illusion. So that's so that's that. And I'm gonna make a couple other videos today. Um, by request, I was asked to go through real quick the do's and don'ts of being a drag king and somebody requested that I do a binding video. You're not going to get to see me bind though. Anyway, uh, from the Drag Lab, this is Chance 